Apollo keeps, and he's got the first 11 catches, 162 yards, and a touchdown last week against Penn State. Fresh set of downs from McCord, dials it up, and it's complete along the sideline. Julian Fleming for another first down. Really a beautiful throw. Timing, that's a long throw. The out route from the right hash to the left sideline. Perfect timing and ball placement. And Fleming was working on Ricardo Hallman, the best cover corner for this Badger. The corner throw over the sideline. It's Henderson in stride. Henderson splits the fenders and he's tripped up from behind inside the 20. Well, they went tempo and Wisconsin got caught flat footed. They're just going to send him out on a free release and nobody picks him up. They, they picked off the middle linebacker. Jung Mehta was supposed to pick him up and he got hung up in the traffic on the inside, but it was the tempo. Ohio State already up 3 0. Back out to operate offensively. Court on play action to the outside and caged over either. Third and six. McCord lofts it. Harrison makes the grab. He is special. See, the last time that Kyle McCord tried to throw it to Harrison, he didn't put the ball in a position where he could make a play. If you put it close to him, he will use his body to shield the defender. Working on Jason Matry, the transfer. Play action of Johnson, dump it down, it's Henderson. Not a whole lot of... Second and nine from McCord, good time, and just leaves it. Henderson looking for that first down marker. We've seen that composure just improve with each week as McCord going to get a nice push. And Carnell Tate, the motion man in the slot. Here comes the rush on McCord. Poised, calm, delivers. Another first down, G. Scott. Yeah, two tight end offense this time, and a really nice job by Trainum. Watch him come over and pick up the blitz. He sees it, he's got eyes on it, does a beautiful job standing up to safety. Preston Zachman is working on a different corner right now. Ford wasn't looking there initially, now over the middle, right back to, ha to Harrison, who's going to get that stride and find the touchdown. Deja vu for one of the best weapons in all of college football. Yeah, he wasn't working on Holman this time. This time he was working on Niger Forkerin. And watch, Forkerin's just going to get kind of get lost. He's going to get hung up. This looks like the same touchdown that won the game against Penn State a week ago, or at least put it out of reach, that made it a two-score game. Shallow cross. They get caught up in the trap. <laughs> You know, it's a lot of big shoes for Kyle McCord to fill. Here he is on play action. A dart over the middle. It's Cornell Tate for a first down. Picks up 15. Little RPO. The offensive line is blocking run. Henderson has already shown that he's effective today. So the line's blocking run. Kyle McCord's reading the linebackers. They come in to stop the run. It opens up that window for a nice, easy throw to Cornell Tate. As a runner or a receiver and his home run ability. Play action Johnson, McCord over to Henderson, slips a tackle, Henderson. McCord lofts, complete, Harrison, first down. A lot of room out there for Marvin Harrison. They were trying to run an underneath coverage out underneath the route, but it was so far away that Matry, number 23, just couldn't get underneath the route. Good read by Kyle McCord, knowing that the underneath coverage couldn't get there. And he kid who has so much pride playing for the Badgers. On second and 11, McCord, another completion to G. Scott, and it will set up third. And kind of a bunch, here he is in the middle. McCord feeling it, dumps it, Trainum has to get away, and he will. Will they give him the first down? It looks like they've got him at the sticks, and they will move the chains. And what an effort by Trainum because he had nowhere to go. He could not go outside. Kyle McCord had to dump this off. This was an outlet because of the pressure coming. And Trainum made a beautiful cut back inside to get the first down. An instinctive play when we get down there. McCord under pressure, hit as he throws, end zone! Touchdown, Marvin Harrison Jr. Wow. 
I mean, I'm sure they're going to look at this and make sure he was in, but the guy is spectacular. It looked like he was working on Forkerine again, who he beat for the touchdown earlier in the first half. The question is, does he get a foot in? Yep, I think he does. Does he maintain the catch? And I think he does that too. And he got hit in the face. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's spectacular. That's an and one. Makes the catch, gets one foot down, which is all he needs, and secures it to the ground. I know there's some quarterbacks that are playing. Of course, this game's a little different, but he's trying to just maintain and keep this the best he can, like a normal game. Hard to do that when you've got Marvin Harrison Jr. on the other side, who continues to carve up this defense, and now is over 100 yards yet again. Oh, great protection helped out by Travion Henderson. That's a long developing route, the deep crossing route, and a nice throw home again, and that's been a pretty good matchup so far tonight. McCord looking that way. Now McCord's going to run it himself up the middle for the first down. Doesn't run a lot. But he made a good decision on this one. He's looking at Marvin, doesn't like it. And he gets the first down, knows what he needed, how much yardage. Dives forward and gets it. McCord well protected. Dump it, train him, drag. Rush is coming. McCord picks it up, delivers to Harrison again. Just too much cushion. I mean, you're going to bring pressure, so you're counting on getting there before he can throw the ball, but it's bail coverage, and that's just too easy. It looked like press, but it was bail coverage. It doesn't mean press coverage. He's going to stay right 